say dead Will you regret everything that you did That you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and cool CGI and VFX advertising animation with using After Effects Guys, After Effects, I'm using 2025 version and now guys, I'm not using any third party add-on like a Element 3D. Okay, so now guys, I teach you how to create this type of effect. So firstly guys, click on here, new composition from footage check. So guys, import your clip like this, this one and import. Yeah, so guys, go to on here and click on here, full. And now guys, click on here, see guys, that's my track camera check here. And second option is go to on window. And see guys, that's my tracker, right? So click on here, track camera check. See guys, that's my tracking. It's take little bit time. Okay, so guys, my tracking is finished. And see guys, that's my some tracker points. So next one, guys select flow, this one. So guys select flow like this. And firstly guys, right click, set ground and plane and origin check. And second one, right click, create solid and camera check. See guys, that's my simple tracker, this one, and now, guys, rotate your tracker, see guys, that's my rotation, so rotation change, like this, and position change, guys, see, that's my simple position, so go to on here, and increase height, yes, great, and position again change, see guys, that's my simple flow, right, simple, and now guys, next one, I apply some objects. So go to on here. See guys, that's my Apple Watch, right? And second one, and third one. See guys, that's my different, different objects. And lastly guys, that's my SDRI image for lighting. So go to on here, download 3D model check. So guys, After Effects 2025 version, it's only support GBL version, this one, GBL check, and click on here. Yes, and second one, so download link, click, and GBL, and click on here, right? That's my all model, and GBL, check, yes, that's it, guys. And lastly, guys, click on here, that's my SDR image, and download SDR image also. Okay, so guys, go to on again, After Effects, and go to on Project, and right click, Import, and Import File. So guys, import your all object like this and drag and drop yes see guys that's my watch model and second one yeah and third one it's my sdr image right so close so guys now select both object that's my 3d model and simple drag and drop yeah so guys see that's my some option so firstly click on here make comp size check right it's most important part click on here make comp size check and press OK and same second one make com size check and press OK yes that's it guys so now guys go to one mid and up like this so guys now I increase size so press S letter and size like a 500 yes okay so guys now fit 200% check yes so go to one up and also change position so press p and position change so guys this one position change like this so closer and go to our mid yes perfect again position change closer and go to on here yeah this position is perfect and now guys rotation little bit change okay see guys that's my rotation right okay so now i select this one second watch so go to an up and go to an up like this guys i create first animation first apple watch animation so guys i change quality like a half for fast preview and go to on here fit 200 percent check yes okay so guys now i create some animation so go to an up, out of frame, and again up, 
yes and position check so go to on here and see guys that's my position check and now guys go to on two second and position change go to on here yes more down right see guys that's my position more okay so little bit up yeah this position is perfect like minus 400 check yes good right okay so now guys this time position check and go to like a four second and now guys fit 200 percent check so position little bit up little bit more like a minus 500 yeah good and now guys like a six second select this two second keyframe and copy and paste and go to like a eight second select this one and copy and paste and now guys go to like a 10 second and position go to an up yes perfect and more right see guys that's my simple animation and little bit more like a one eight double zero yes so guys go to back and play see guys that's my simple position animation right and now next one guys select your key for i quit smoothness so press f9 and again go to back and play see guys that's my simple animation and also guys i create rotation animation so rotation see guys that's my x rotation x rotation check and guys like a zero and go to like a 10 second and x rotation like a two yes that's it so again play yes perfect see guys that's my some dynamic animation fit 200 percent check yes great right okay so guys my first watch animation is perfect and now next one go to like a 10 second see guys that's my second watch so guys go to up and go to on here yes great so same guys go to on here and position check on 10 second actually i like a 9 second is perfect for me 9 second and position check so go to like a 10 second 10 second and actually 11 i like 11 yes and position change so go to down like this yes perfect guys i will increase size watch size yes and watch size like a 600 yeah 600 is perfect and now guys go to on here 13 second and position go to on up like this and guys now go to like a 15 second position down position little bit down like this okay so now guys you can copy this keyframe this one 11 second so see that's my 11 second position i like a minus 400 is perfect 400 yes and go to like a here 12 it, uh, it's my 13 second like a minus 550 yeah and go to like a here 15 second so guys copy this keyframe copy and paste yeah and go to like a here and guys it's my 19 second and paste yes that's it guys it's my simple position animation right it's my second watch okay so guys also i create rotation animation so see guys that's my rotation z rotation check and guys last go to our last and guys rotation like a two yes that's it guys okay so guys my final animation is finished it's my final position animation press u and all keyframe should be smoothness so press f9 yes that's it press f9 for smoothness and guys play yeah great okay see guys that's my simple animation after that guys i apply this time sdri lighting and shadow effect okay so guys my final work is finished see guys that's my really cool final animation 
एंड नेक्स्ट वन गाइस आई अप्लाई दिस टाइम लाइटिंग सो गाइस फॉर लाइटिंग स्टॉप गो टू ऑन हेयर लाइक दिस एंड गाइस फिट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट चेक एंड नाउ गाइस फॉर लाइटिंग फर्स्टली गो टू ऑन हेयर न्यू एंड यूज दिस टाइम लाइट लाइट चेक एंड सी गाइस दैट्स माय लाइट टाइप आई यूज इन्वायरमेंट टेक्सचर इन्वायरमेंट एंड इंटेंसिटी सेम हंड्रेड परसेंट चेक यस सो गाइस सी दैट्स माय इन्वायरमेंट टेक्सचर सिंपल ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप ऑन मेन कॉम लाइक दिस या एंड सी गाइस दैट्स माय सोर्स आई लाइक दिस टाइम इन्वायरमेंट टेक्सचर चेक यस परफेक्ट राइट सी गाइस दैट्स माय इन्वायरमेंट टेक्सचर इट्स माय विदाउट इन्वायरमेंट टेक्सचर एंड गो टू ऑन हियर increase frame yes perfect and see that's my without environment texture it's my with lighting okay so guys next one i take shadow for this one watch shadow so guys select this one it's my track solid so go to on here and guys little bit increase see guys that's my material option here click on here material option and firstly accept shadow check it's automatically on so click on here only yeah that's it guys so go to our back and now play okay see guys that's my sdr hai so guys my shadow is not visible so go to on here option it's my 3d render setting it's my render option check and see guys that's my fit screen check and press okay and also guys go to on here environment lighting so see guys that's my cast shadow and it's automatically off so click on here on yeah perfect see guys that's my beautiful shadow right okay so now guys go to back and click on here preview guys take lots of time for rendering so i change render setting so go to on here render option and change render quality so render quality like a 16 for fast render and smoothness half like a 8 is good and fit to screen check and press okay yeah again play yeah really cool right it's my really it's my realistic render right and now guys little bit increase this time intensity light intensity so go to on here see guys that's my intensity like a 110 enter guys you can increase shadow darkness depend on your work but 100% fit for my work and guys now my work is finished so go to on here compositing here and see that's my add to render queue check so i show you my final render setting so click on here full and again compositing to add render queue check yes guys you have two option first format is h.264 this one it's my default mp4 video clip and second one create jpeg sequences is so click on here and format so guys use full format like a uh, uh, i take 24 is perfect for me 24 and press okay and go to on here so clip and go to on here desktop create save and render image check yes okay see guys that's my final render right okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you Brilliant.